says, no, you're wrong. This elephant is like a fan. And then the third guy feels the elephant's leg, which I'd be really scared to do myself, and says, no, 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 the elephant is like a column of strong stone. Well, they're not wrong. They're just looking at the topic from a new angle. So to make a talk more interesting, you can try writing about it from a new perspective or point of view. For example, you could write about the treehouse from the point of view of a bird or even the tree if you wanted. What might a tree think of a treehouse? You can raise your hand. The tree might think, um, that what are you doing with m my friends? What What are you doing to, sorry? The tree might say, what are you doing to my friends if he's looking at a tree house and another tree? Oh, I see. Okay, yes, that would be definitely a reaction maybe from a tree that the tree house was not built on. So, if they looked at another tree house, very good. Okay, that is an interesting view and one that even I did not think of. So, what might a tree holding the tree house think? You wouldn't like it. Eh, no, I probably would not like it either. So, can you maybe get a little more specific and tell me why you might not like it? Maybe he doesn't like it because um, he doesn't like the extra weight that his branches have to hold up. Yes, I, I would agree probably. And, you know, uh, branches, they're supposed to hold branches, basically. They're supposed to hold the weight of the tree. And then if you get a huge building that's as wide as the limo and as tall as the Eiffel Tower on you, that is pretty heavy, I would say. So, yes, it, you might not be very happy. Okay, very good. And one more observation. What might a tree think about a tree? It hurt because of all the nails in your branches. Yes, it, it would probably hurt because of all the nails in your branches and maybe in your trunk. So, And I hate to be disgusting here, but just imagine that you get nails pounded in you. That would hurt really, really bad. And it, it might also, um, if you didn't get treated properly, it might get infected. So if you ever get a nail in your foot or something, be sure to get the right kind of um, shot for that. Okay, so here's your view. To make a topic more interesting, add interesting details. To make a topic more interesting, consider writing from an unusual point of view. Like, for instance, we wrote the treehouse, I'm presuming, from the point of view of the people who built it. But it might be interesting to write about it from the point of view of a bird or even a tree, like we were just talking about. Very good job. Tip number three. Have any of you have had any problems getting ideas for you? Yes, sometimes it can be a little hard to get ideas, especially when maybe you're just supposed to start writing and you don't necessarily have a prompt. And you're wondering, hmm, what should I write about? Well, here's my tip for that. Observe the world around you. Does anyone want to tell me what observe means? Observe means to, like, watch it and then, like, yeah, watch it. <laughs> Very good. When you're observing, when you're looking around, watching very carefully, sometimes drawing conclusions and observing, hmm, this person is learning about this, or this person is doing this. And when you look very carefully and remember things that you see, sometimes you can use those ideas in your stories or in your articles. So for instance, take a good look around your classroom. You can just swivel your head a little bit. And, um, and you could even look at maybe something like what you're wearing, uh, for instance, like I look at my sweater and I'm remembering, well, I got this, it was passed down to me from my cousin who is from China and she got it hand knitted for her there, so that's pretty cool. And, or I could just remember an incident where my sister kept on trying to tug one, they have these little strawberry things right here, and she tried to tug it off. So, yeah, when we were having a fight. Very good, so who would like to tell me some ideas they've gotten from looking around their classroom. I like blue. Yeah, Mandy likes the color blue. She's wearing all blue. Blue. Very nice. Yes, I know a lot of people who love the color blue. Um, wondering what my teacher would be like in the beginning of fourth grade. 
wondering what my teacher would be like in the beginning of fourth grade. That is an excellent. In fact, I think that we're all pretty nervous on the first day of school, and we're thinking, oh, what will it be like? Will my teachers or who will my teacher be? Uh, who will my classmates be? Will I know everyone, or will it be a little different? And especially, like, you have a little while between you go into uh, middle school then, or high school, and that's pretty scary as well because my sister. Actually, yeah, when she started going into junior high, then she didn't really know as many people as she does now. So, yeah, definitely takes a little getting used to. Very good, so you could write about that. And another idea you can get from looking up. Um, who should I answer these? Like, are these your parents? Or are they, like, for Christmas? Activities? We have Cat Day today. That's why they're wearing all these crazy hats. So he's wondering ah. about the stories behind some of their hats. And that an idea. Yes, I did not realize it was hat day at your school, so that that is very cool. Um, actually, yes, I was wondering a little bit where all these hats came from, so I see some very, very nice hats. Actually, all of them are very nice colors and um, decorations, so you can talk a little about your own hat. You can talk about someone else's hat, your friend's hat, your classmate's hats, and maybe, and this is just an idea, of course, you could write a little article, like a sort of news article, and if you have a school newspaper, you could submit it to them, um, and going around interviewing people, like asking them where their hat comes from, and, and who they got it from, and why they chose that hat, so that might be an idea of something fun you could do. Very good. Okay, one more idea you can get from just looking around. Being able to write a story from the point of view of your cat, so what does your cat think of all day long? If you're like a new student, um, well, Thinking, well, will I make new friends? If you're a new student, wondering if you'll make new friends, very good, yes. Um, especially if you, for instance, moved in the middle of the year, and then you have to adjust to a new school, like, in the middle of the semester, that can be very difficult. Or if you're just starting your first day of school, exactly. Okay, very good. Now, moving on. While we're on the subject of ideas and details, let's talk a little bit about main ideas. Tip number four, make a point. Interesting writing makes a point. In order to create powerful writing, you need to turn your topic into a point or a main idea. How do you turn topic idea into a main idea? Well, let's say that we have a topic idea of hats. So, hats. And then our main idea could be Hats are wonderful accompaniments to, or like they, they look really great with the rest of your clothes. They're good um, accompaniments. Accessories, that's what I meant, accessories. They're, and they're cool accessories. My topic sentence could be, hats are really cool and make great accessories because why? What are some reasons that they're really cool? Because they make you look silly. Because they make you look silly. That is a very interesting one. Okay, uh, let me see. I'm just grabbing a marker here, and I will write that down. So we could say hats are great accessories because they can make you look silly. Very good. because they can make you look silly. Very, very um, uh, observant. Okay, who would like to give me another reason why hats are pretty good accessories? They come in all different shapes and sizes. Very good. Okay, so, and, and they come in all different Here the, we have our topic set, or uh, we have our topic sentence. Hats are great accessories because they can make you look silly, and they come in all different shapes and sizes. So these are our two um, scoring details. They can make you look silly, and also they come in a variety of different shapes and sizes. So 
uh, we can expand on these later in the article, assuming that we're writing this article, and uh, then prove to our reader uh, 